Congress. It's a big war after Congress backed the Aam Aadmi Party on the ordinance. BJP is mocked the Congress top brass. BJP says Rahul and Nexus Vidam. Delhi Punjab Congress units have been duped. BJP says Rahul Gandhi overruled the Delhi Congress census. Congress sends ambivalence on ordinance. Congress has backed the AAP and slammed the Delhi ordinance. The BJP is of course going after the Congress leadership in all of this, talking about the fact that the Congress central leadership has always mocked the state units. It happened in Delhi. It also happened in Punjab. The BJP has in fact gone on to say that the Punjab and the Delhi units have been duped by the Congress. Rahul Gandhi overruled the Delhi Congress's interest is what the BJP says. Given that the Congress is backed, Aam Aadmi Party on the ordinance matter, slamming the Delhi ordinance, a position it has only recently made clear, given the kind of unity that parties are expecting from them, just ahead of the meeting on the 17th of July. Rahul Gautam is getting us uh, those details. Rahul, this really was a bit of a catch-22 situation for the Congress party, isn't, isn't it? Given that they really had to be seen taking one side or picking one side because the AAP had said that do it or else we're not going to be part of your unity talks. Well, absolutely, Sneha. You know, it was a difficult uh, decision as far as Congress Party is concerned because there were a lot of opposition coming in from state units, uh, particularly uh, Delhi and Punjab, whose leaders were saying that we should not side with Aam Aadmi Party. But it seems that uh, Congress Party uh, has kept national narrative uh, ahead of, uh, you know, its state, uh, you know, uh, units' uh, concerns, and it seems that they have decided that they're going to oppose the ordinance. And uh, the Congress Party uh, uh, is making it very clear that they, they're doing this only because of the fact that they've always been against the alleged uh, onslaught which is happening on the federal structure. In fact, uh, Mr. Pawan Khera, who is the official spokesperson of the Congress Party, uh, has released a statement uh, saying that, uh, uh, you know, uh, whenever, uh, you know, uh, there was an attack uh, happening on, on the state, uh, state's rights, uh, whether it, it happened in Bengal or in Tamil Nadu, Congress Party always stood uh, for the federal structure. And, and therefore, in the same context, uh, they have decided that they're going to support, uh, uh, they're going to oppose uh, the ordinance uh, and in in fact, uh, now this clearly, uh, you know, uh, makes way uh, for Aam Aadmi Party attending, uh, you know, tomorrow's opposition meeting, which is certainly going to be a very crucial one. Uh, we all know that how uh, Congress Party never had the option of supporting the ordinance, given the fact that they would not be seen, uh, they would not want to be seen with BJP, and therefore there were only two options. One, either they could oppose the ordinance, or second, they could walk out. But it seems that Congress Party had decided they're going to oppose the ordinance, and it seems, uh, in fact, Aam Aadmi Party has also welcomed uh, the decision taken by uh, Congress party. Mr. Raghav Chadda, who is Rajya Sabha MP, also tweeted uh, that this is a positive development. So it seems that uh, opposition unity is intact and, uh, uh, you know, 24 political parties and in all likelihood now, Aam Aadmi Party uh, is also likely to attend this meeting. As we speak, there is a PAC meeting happening of Aam Aadmi Party. They are going to come up with a, uh, uh, with, uh, you know, with a, with a stance uh, or uh, with a decision that whether they are going to uh, attend tomorrow's meeting or not. But in okay, all Rahul. likelihood, given the fact that Raghav Chadda has welcomed this move, saying that it is a positive development. So you can say that in all likelihood, Aam Aadmi Party will attend tomorrow's meeting as well. All right. In fact, we have more news coming in. Uh, Rahul Gautam is tracking all of those details. The meeting, in fact that the Aam Aadmi Party was to hold. This is a political affairs committee meeting of top party leaders has just begun. This ahead of the opposition meeting in Bengaluru tomorrow itself. Remember, we are talking about the opposition meeting and the Aam Aadmi Party is also having a separate meeting of its own of its political affairs committee to discuss what its strategy really is going to be way forward. The AAP is mulling attending the opposition meeting tomorrow and the party is in a huddle discussing its political strategy. We have always been opposing any attempt to weaken the federal structure of our, of our polity, of our governments, of our constitution. The BJP ever since Mr. Modi has become the Prime Minister has been attacking the federal structure of, of our country whether it's in Tamil Nadu, whether it's in Bengal, whether it's in Delhi, Congress party has been very steadfast in opposing any such attempt to weaken the federal structure of our polity. Likewise, even in the case of the ordinance uh, for Delhi, which the center has brought, yesterday we had our meeting 
of the parliamentary strategy group and there also it was decided that the Congress party will oppose this ordinance. Bangalore ki jo baitak hai satra aur athara ko uske natije aap ek zavardast vikalp ke roop mein dekhenge. Wo vikalp jo aat mudh rajaneet ka vikalp ho ka. Wo vikalp जो कॉरपोरेट हित के खिलाफ जनहित का विकल्प होगा ये ये सारे मुद्दे मैं समझता हूं कि इस प्रकार से इवॉल्व होंगे द नॉन बीजेपी अपोजिशन पार्टीज दे आर प्लान टू मीट इन दी बेंगलुरु इट इज द सेकंड मीटिंग दैट द अपोजिशन पार्टीज दे आर फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट दिस बीजेपी अनडेमोक्रेटिक and authoritarian rule the unity among the opposition parties and the number of the parties it is day to day increasing so many parties left the nda and they are joining hands they are joining the voice against the bjp government ये भ्रष्टाचार करने वाली मीटिंग टीम है ये सारी सारी ये परिवारवादी वाली टीम है सब अपने बाप का नाम लेके आ रहे हैं या अपने बच्चों को साथ में लेके आ रहे हैं मीटिंगों के अंदर ऐसा वातावरण वहां पर निर्मित कर रखा है और सब पे भ्रष्टाचारों के आरोप लगे हुए हैं सभी के ऊपर तो इसलिए इस मीटिंग का कोई औचित्य नहीं है देश के निर्माण में इनकी कोई सहभागिता नहीं है और आने वाले समय के अंदर मुझे लगता है कि जिस प्रकार से ये सामंतवादी मानसिकता के लोग हैं कि ये राज्य मेरा है ये राज्य मेरा है ये राज्य मेरा है उसमें इनकी लड़ाई होने वाली है मीटिंग होगी मीटिंग के बाद में आप देख लेना दूसरे उसी दिन देख लेना